What is up, people? So today we're just gonna be doing a little bit of maintenance on the bike. It's not an easy skill to learn. I've been practicing it for many years. I'm just gonna go ahead now and show you what we're gonna be using today. And remember all these things you can uh, find down in the description. So first thing is gonna be your eight mil wrench that you're gonna need to break the bleeder screw loose on your caliper. Most brake calipers are either gonna be eight millimeter or they're gonna be 10 millimeters. The next thing we're going to use, a vacuum bleeder. Now you don't necessarily need a vacuum bleeder, but I will tell you, one of the best investments I've made. Had I known years ago that having a, a vacuum bleeder would have saved me all that time, I would have done it a long time ago. So save yourself the time, vacuum bleeder. And for a little job like this, I don't need a massive air compressor, neither do you. This is a two gallon, it's, an, it's ultra quiet is what it's advertised, and it actually is really quiet. So then for the air compressor, you're gonna need a hose attachment to connect the vacuum bleeder to. If you don't need a whole 100 foot spool of air hose, this will do just fine. So next you're gonna need some brake fluid. If you're gonna be uh, draining your old fluid out, you're gonna need to put new brake fluid in. And that's gonna be your Mold Tool 600. Stunt riders love it, track riders love it. It's got a very high boiling point, so that way, less chance of you getting brake fade. You don't wanna run a low grade brake fluid if you're racing, stunt riding, anything like that. I mean, even if you aren't, I would still say, why not run a better brake fluid just for peace of mind, higher boiling point, less chance of brake fade. You don't want to end up like this guy. <laughs> Your brake sucks, Steve. Fuck. If you're in a pinch and you just need to grab some fluid right away, they usually sell this at auto parts stores. Um, it's VP Racing 622. It supposedly has a higher boiling point than the Mo Tool. All right, so we're gonna start up here. I'm gonna go ahead and detach my brake fluid reservoir. You guys may have a different setup than I do, especially with the stock bike. Um, I, I have a little reservoir that's tucked right here behind the uh, behind the clip on. Now, if you have a stock bike, uh, you don't have to do this. Uh, because your reservoir will probably be mounted up here. You don't have to detach it. You just gotta get the cap off. In my case, I have a small reservoir that I have to mount up somewhere here so that the fluid can travel down through. I'm gonna go ahead and take this here and I'm gonna attach it right there with the zip tie. Look at that brake fluid. It's pretty dark colored. Should be more on the clear side. That's a good indication that it's time to change your brake fluid. All right, so we're gonna switch the view to give you the POV of what I'm doing. Brake fluid's dirty, you gotta get this flushed out. But normally what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna start from the left side, the caliper furthest away from the brake master. Now if you only got one caliper, and it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna do this side, but it's gonna be the same process for the other side and also your rear brake. What we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna take our eight mil, all right? You're gonna put your eight mil down first. Then you're gonna take the, the hose end of the brake bleeder and you're gonna to wanna to pop it onto that bleeder screw. It should grip it pretty tightly. Turn in the eight mil wrench to the left. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. Your fluid level is gonna start going down. Your fluid level starts going down, 
it's gonna you don't want it to get low enough to where it reaches the brake master it's gonna suck air into your system you want to make sure you keep it topped off so make sure that you have your brake fluid ready i'm gonna set it off to the side over here now let's start pulling this fluid out so now you're gonna take your brake bleeder pull the handle all right well you're not really gonna be able to hear me too well when this is going because the air coming out of this is pretty loud so you're gonna see me do it but you're probably not gonna hear me say anything so let me just explain before i do it you're gonna pull the handle up you're gonna lock it with this little lever that's here you lock the handle down crack that brake uh that bleeder screw loose once you crack that bleeder screw loose you're gonna start seeing the fluid come through you may see some air bubbles or whatever, but you're going to start getting all that out of there. As your brake fluid starts going low up top in the reservoir, you're going to just keep topping it off until eventually you see the brake fluid come out clean through here. And then you know your clean new fluid ran through the system. All right, let's do it. Yeah, first pull the handle, lock the lever. Crack open the bleeder screw. Keep an eye on that reservoir. So now you see where the fluid is. Pulled almost all that fluid out. So now we're gonna top it off. See how the fluid's already starting to come out cleaner than what it was? Because now we're getting the new fluid right through there. Now it's our reservoir is getting low. Tighten the bleeder screw back up. Turn off the vacuum bleeder. Just that simple. So, that's it. All you gotta do now is just replace your reservoir cap and you're good to go. Just that simple, as long as you got the right tools and to know how to do it. Till next time, you already know Ninja Turtle Stunts, I'm out.